Good morning, everybody. It's Bernadette Wagner with our next edition of Mindful Monday. I'm super excited today to have on our program three amazing women who kind of lead the efforts to uh, support not just women, but every person in our community uh, for lifelong learning. They themselves are lifelong learners. They're here to tell us a little bit about an upcoming event called LeaderCast Women. But more than that, they're going to share their stories about who inspires them. And hopefully that can help us come to a better understanding of who and what inspires us. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Good morning. So why don't we start with uh, Jenna? Um, maybe, Jenna, you can just tell us a little bit about your role at HCC and how long you've been there. Sure, so I am the personal enrichment and youth programs manager at HCC, and that means that I have the privilege of offering classes that you take for fun, um, just things that you are curious about, uh, want to try something new, um, delve into your family history or local history, learn a new language, travel, um, and I've been in the position for about four years. Uh, before that, I worked at another institute of higher education and, and nonprofits. Well, we're so glad that you're at HCC and helping us explore our interest and ourselves. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Hey, uh, Bonnie? Hi, good morning. Um, I have um, had the privilege to work in higher education for about 20 years, and I've been here at Hagerstown Community College for 13 of those years. Um, <clears throat> my work um, is twofold. I work with the students here on campus, help them find internships and jobs, and then I'm out in the um, community working with employers to help them find candidates for, for employment. Well, that's a pretty big, important role, that connection between academic and actually implementing what you learn. Yeah, I absolutely love what I do. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your work. And Jennifer, tell us what you do. Good morning. I am uh, the Allied Health and the Health and Wellness Program Manager for Continuing Education. And really what I do is twofold. I work with all of the Allied Health Certification and Licensure Programs for people who are either getting back into nursing or wanting to do CNA or phlebotomy, um, so short-term training programs, as well as um, the health and wellness. I get to do mind, body, spirit um, programming where Jenna and I will often um, interface with each other and see what, what needs in the community we can meet. Before that, um, I've done everything from nonprofit to federal contracting. I'm a licensed professional counselor, so reaching out to people and helping to build community and, and resources is, is a passion of mine. So you're sort of a poster child for prime time for women, trying all these different things, exploring your option and finding right. out that you're good at all of them. So thank you so much. Um, one of the things that, the reason I asked uh, these women on today's Mindful Monday is because there's an event coming up called LeaderCast Women. And I understand from talking to all of them today that this is not their first event, that they've, um, this is not their first rodeo. And they're gonna tell us a little bit about uh, who inspires them and also talk about some past uh, LeaderCast Women events and then maybe uh, get to tell us about this coming event. So um, I'm not sure who wants to start, but uh, I would be wondering if um, you could tell us how long HCC has been sponsoring this event and um, what it means to all of you. So I can start uh, with that one. I can give you just a little bit of background. Um, it's kind of funny, the LeaderCast Women Conference, is. it's been around for about four years. This will be the fourth year. And um, it's been at HCC for three of those years. The very first year it was actually hosted by a local company downtown and Bonnie and I just happened to both attend on our own, had never even met, didn't know each other. And you um, worked at HCC yet either, right? No, I, I did, yeah. We both worked at HCC um, and I had never met her, didn't even know who she was, um, didn't even meet her at the event. But afterward we both came back and we heard we had both been there and we loved it so much and thought, you know, we could bring that to HCC and really be able to have more women attend. Um, the place where it was hosted, it just it had, uh, had limited space. So here, we're like, we can reach many, many more people in the community. Um, so that's what we did. We partnered with that company and we've had it here. Now, like I said, this will be the third year for us hosting it at HCC. That's great. Uh, Bonnie or Jennifer, you want to run in there on that one? 
Um, I'll tap in um, just off of what Jenna said there in Springboard. Um, so I was really moved by the event. And so I was so happy to connect with Jenna and say, you know, what can we do? How can we partner? Because I want more people in our community to be able to benefit from the conference. And for me personally, um, I had never attended a teleconference before. The thought of a teleconference was kind of boring, dull, like, you know, how am I going to really get energized from watching a bunch of people talk? Um, this particular teleconference is actually hosted out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and the, the women that they selected for that first group that we that we participated in and, and got to watch um, were, were some names that I had never even heard of, um, but I've since come to love and adore. And then there were names that I did recognize. Um, so Dr. King's daughter spoke, and so that was phenomenal to be able to hear her speak and talk about the work that she does. Um, and then there was a, a woman by the name of Molly Fletcher that talked, and she was um, and is a sports agent agents and just a very dynamic woman and um, in a man's world pretty much so she talked with um, such confidence but was raw and real and I really admired that you know she didn't have this posh polished uh, you know um, platform from which to speak I mean she told a story that would make you blush about trying to breastfeed in a traffic jam while talking to a sports um, somebody that we probably would recognize famous in athletics yeah. exactly exactly so I I what I did is I really took away a lot of nuggets from that first piece and um, just felt inspired and motivated and it personally gave me kind of that kick in the pants that I needed um, to feel confident enough to do some things both personally and professionally that I hadn't done yet. So one of those you may have heard about, we um, coordinated a career closet for HCC. And so from just attending LeaderCast, I then was able to get a group of about 18 people together. We worked with the community and we, we collected over 15 racks of clothing for our students to be able to get free professional clothes to prepare them for interviews, to kind of launch them into the workforce. Um, and, and that was just, um, just so positive to everybody was genuinely, you know, caring and giving of their time and their resources. And it showed me that, you know, the difference that one person and one idea can make, but how that multiplies when you share and, and work together as a team. So, um, you know, in the work that I do here at HCC, like I said, I've been doing it for 13 years and um, I love what I do, but it was nice to add on this extra thing that I do now with the career closet and see that make a bigger difference in the community um, from, from that. So, and you know, I, when you- I can just hear as you talk about it, what a difference it's made in your life to know that you're impacting others. Yeah. It, it, it really has. Yeah, I feel like I'm a testimonial to that very first one. And it hooked me in, hook, line, and sinker. Um, you can ask all my friends. Um, you know, they hear all about LeaderCast, and slowly, one by one, they've participated in additional events with us. And it's it's so heartwarming to see. Like, I have a friend, um, Carissa Hip, who I think she's been on your show several times. Yeah. And Carissa was there um, at the very first one we had at HCC, and she's since... Um, you know, launched her own company, and we have several stories like that. Um, it's great. just been really, really heartwarming. Great. Thank you so much for sharing that. That, that is like a testimonial. That's great. Uh, how about you, Jennifer? So last year was my first time uh, hopping into LeaderCast uh, Women, and I'm a product of the 70s and 80s, so uh, I'd like to say that uh, at times I'm a recovering feminist because I went uber feminist in the 90s and now I'm I'm more moderate um, but uh, Glennon Doyle really spoke to me in leader cast women last year and you talk about the authenticity um, and really just accepting where we are as women in our journey and that's okay and then giving us tools in the passion and the motivation to really step out of that and to keep moving forward. The message that I love about LeaderCast Women is it really is about um, wherever you are as an individual, as a woman, 
to accept and embrace that, but that there's also so much more. And as women, we often don't get those messages. Sometimes we're told that, you know, instead of being assertive um, and advocating for ourselves, we can be labeled as being um, aggressive or, if I can even say it, bitchy. And, and it's really helping um, women to lean into our rights and our power. And I think it's just, it's so important, especially in a pandemic and moving forward into um, the twenties. So I, I agree with everything you've said. Uh, the one thing I think about uh, leader cast women, and it's uh, and maybe it's because it's a core tenet of prime time for women, is there's all the skills that you get to meet inspiring women, but it's also this incredible connection, this opportunity to connect with other women. And, uh, you know, you, you're meeting them uh, virtually, but there are opportunities outside of that meeting to send emails, to send, to set up smaller groups. And that's really, really super important because we know that women in particular are healthier, happier, and stronger when they have a strong support group. And as you said, Jennifer, in the middle of the pandemic, when we don't have that um, real-time uh, connection, which I know I'm missing, and I'm sure other people are too, it's even more important to learn how to use uh, technology and the resources we have to make that connection. So, okay, well, that's great. And I was going to ask you what personally motivates and inspires you, and you all sort of <laughs> told us a little bit about that. So maybe you can tell us uh, a little bit about this upcoming LeaderCast event that will be held at HCC. Um, I'm just going to throw out a bunch of questions and you all can take some turns. Uh, where is the event? Um, how's it going to be impacted by COVID-19? How can people find out more about it? Where do they purchase tickets? And I'm just going to uh, open it up and let you all uh, take a crack at that. Sure. So I, I can start out and then uh, Jennifer and Bonnie, please chime in, um, fill in the holes. So first of all, as you mentioned, we are meeting virtually and um, it's, it's interesting to see how that's going to work. Um, in the past, it's always been amazing to see the women connect in person and they're hugging and smiling and talking and there's just an energy in the room. Um, but we did a similar uh, conference, LeaderCast Live, um, earlier this year and we had to go virtual so that you know COVID has impacted us in that way. Um, but what we did was we had an opening session in the morning, and this is what we'll do for LeaderCast Women, and we had a live local speaker um, that talked and had some Q&A, so there's some interaction. Um, and then in the afternoon, everybody came back together, and we had a virtual happy hour where we just kind of broke out into small groups, and we had some of our volunteers and sponsors, our staff, um, facilitating those breakout groups. And it was really great to see everybody connect in that way and really digest. I mean, there's so much that you can take away from the day's speakers. And I find that if I don't have someone that I can turn to and talk, uh, talk with them about it right away, it just goes poof, you know? It, <laughs> so- um, Processing it with somebody else really makes a difference. Yes, yes. So we will have that opportunity for our attendees to, to come together, you know, grab your favorite beverage, you're at home already and comfy, cozy, well, maybe in the office, but either way, um, you can come together and talk about things. And then also we have in the works, um, I don't know that all of them, but some of the speakers this year have authored books. Um, one of them, the headliner, Abby Wambach, she has a great book <laughs> called <laughs> she has a great book called Wolfpack. So that book or others by other speakers, we're looking to put together um, kind of like a, not, not quite a book club, but just small groups. You sign up and you can read that book together and digest it and talk about it together. Um, so just more ways for people to connect um, around the messages of the day. Um, I could tell you the theme for this year, this kind of touches on what uh, Bonnie was mentioning in her testimonial. The theme is called Ripple Effect. So it's all about amplifying your leadership and understanding how the things that you do, the small decisions and actions you make can ripple out and affect people outside of your network, outside of your time. Um, it can be, impact people 10 years from now. Um, so that, that's the theme of the event. I'll let others chime in here. 
Well, I'll share the date just to make sure everybody has it. October 30th, it's a Friday. Um, it will be virtual, so we're going to be hosting it um, with Zoom. And um, I think we'll be able to maybe share a link with you, Bernadette. Um, yeah. we'll okay. For you, no problem. Fantastic. So lcw 2020 dot eventbrite.com is where tickets can be purchased. Um, the early bird rate, I'm just reading from Jenna's notes here, um, $65. And actually, I think that's substantially lower, Jenna, than what the actual rate is if you were to book them directly through Atlanta site. Mm -hmm. So by going local, um, we have, you know, the ability to partner and get sponsors from the community that helps us lower those ticket prices. Um, and so in, in, in line with that, I know Jennifer has worked with some of our sponsors. We're definitely still looking, I think, for sponsors who are interested. So um, if anybody wants to reach out to Jennifer or Jenna with that, um, that helps us keep, keep the prices accessible. That's great, that's great. Um, Jennifer, um, wh what are you gonna add to that? Well, I just wanted to let people know that um, LeaderCast Women, there's something for everybody um, through the presentations. Um, Jenna mentioned Abby Wambach is going to be one of the speakers, but you have um, CEOs from Silicon Valley, you have authors, you have influencers, whether it's social media or um, one... One woman is fascinating to me. She uh, she has created a dance club, a morning dance club that is worldwide, um, and helps set the stage for your for your day and the tone. Um, so there's something for everyone, and some things are going to resonate on a professional level, and some things are going to resonate on a personal level. So I just encourage everyone, even if you don't think, well, you know, I'm in a pandemic, I don't know what I want to where I want to go in my career right now there will be pieces of this that are going to resonate that will help either answer those questions or at least fill your soul and give you some connection as well. Yeah, and one of the things that I really like about the way LeaderCast Women is set up, and actually LeaderCast Live, I've been to several of those events too. Uh, you know, it's not just informational, uh, educational um, content which is processed in the frontal part of the brain. It's also the stories of these women's lives, these emotional connections, which, you know, uh, I've spent a lot of time lately reading about the power of stories oh. to heal. And, uh, you know, stories, emotional stories, stories are actually processed in a whole different part of the brain in the amygdala. And, you know, one of the things that uh, seems kind of crazy is uh, when stories are processed in that way, it's not just, uh, it doesn't even really matter if you remember the exact words that somebody said, but it, what matters is how you felt when you heard the story. And I guarantee any of the women watching today, if you take the time to go to LeaderCast Women, you will hear stories that will resonate with you, just like Jennifer said, maybe not every story, but some stories definitely will. And they will, uh, I think like Bonnie said, give you the power to change your life. And so I would really encourage everybody to do that. Um, I'm also super excited to say that Jenna is going to be on Prime Time for Women and actually talk about all the different speakers and uh, we'll get to share some of those photos with you. And um, we're super excited because we appreciate HCC as a partner in our community, trying to enrich and educate all of us. But in particular, Prime Time for Women knows that women who continue to challenge themselves and realize that age is not a number, but it's an attitude, and that you can be in your prime of your life, and this can be the most fulfilling time of your life. And there's HCC leading the way. So we're so grateful. Well, well thank, thank you, Bernadette. You. We really appreciate the opportunity to share this information with the community. Okay, and one last time, is this information on your website? And if so, can you give that website number? Yes, so you can get the information at hagerstowncc.edu slash leadercast. You can also search on Facebook. Um, that's where you'll get the most updates and just search leadercast live, I'm sorry, leadercast women Hagerstown and you can get all the information there. Thank you so much for your time. We're glad everybody joined in and uh, we'll see you. I'll see you, Jenna, uh, when we take the show. And we hope to see all of you on October 30th. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. See you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.